welcome to the FNS Outdoors. We're traveling for coyotes here today in a cow pasture. What I'm going to show you how to do today is make a hay bale set. What you need for a hay bale set, we got two Duke number twos, 18 inches long half inch cable stakes, about a five gallon bucket full of hay, ear of corn, some freeze proof dirt, which is wax dirt, you got your sifter, your hammer, and your shovel. What you need to do over here, this is going to be our area for our hay bale set. You want to clear the area of sticks and whatnot. I already have a trap bed dug out here, but about a yard away, straight across, I'm going to dig another trap bed. First thing you want to do when digging trap bed, you want to make sure it's big enough to get your whole trap down in there. You got to turn the dirt up like this here. I like a nice deep trap bed. You got to turn it up like that. That's the size of my trap. And kind of dig it out. I always use leather gloves. Keep that scent down. You want to keep your human scent down. Otherwise, them dogs are going to smell you. Always go to go about this deep. Side of my trap, by side of my hand. Right in the middle of it. Always dig it out like this. And that's for your chain. You get your chain down in there. So your chain's out of the way. That way it doesn't interfere with the jaws when you're trapped. Got it out there like that. Just like that. Got my trap here. As you can see, it's a Duke number two. Got it waxed and dyed. You gotta have it waxed and dyed for coyote. Take my stake. Put it right down the middle there. Get your hammer. I drive that stake right down the middle of that hole. That little hole inside the trap bed. Give a little tug, make sure it's in there good. And it is. Take my leftover chain. I stick that chain down in there. Before we do that, I'm going to take some of this. Take a little bit of sifted dirt. Get them dirt pods out of there. This right here is to ensure that you get a good Nice bed for your traps. Twist it down in there like that. And what I'm using for these, I'm just going to use some wax paper, pre cut down to the size I need. You can roll your hands like that. It's kind of up a little bit. Make sure it goes off. It's wax paper. Shove it down in there like that. I always take a little bit up here, this extra dirt right here, and push around that edge of the trap real quick. Make sure it's good and solid in there. Push it in there. You want to make sure your trap doesn't wobble so it goes off good. Clear them jaws out. So it can go off, all right. As you can see, don't wiggle. I'll take my free-proof dirt because it's getting pretty cold now. You gotta be careful not to just use regular dirt that you dig out of your trap bag because that dirt's gonna that dirt's gonna freeze. You don't want that. I'll take my sifter there. I always use Ziploc bags for stuff like this. Nice and clean. or something. Clean off that there. Before you set your jaws down, I always clear this out. So don't pull your trap back out of the bed. Keep it like that. These newer traps are a little bit tougher. Here. Put it down there like that. Make sure it's good. Like that. I'll take a little bit of extra freeze proof dirt. And sit on top there. I 
Don't want to mess with these big claws. Gotta kick them out. With this hay bale set, another good thing about making your making your set clean is going to be covered up with with hay anyhow. So I kind of just you know nothing fancy. I don't really get too carried away. You know I just want to make sure that that trap's going to be able to go off. I know y'all may be thinking that's a little bit a little bit ugly, but that hay is going to be on top of that. So I don't need to really worry about that. Over here I already dug my trap pan or my trap bed. Just like I did on the other side. Like I said, take that stake. If you're worried about your coyotes pulling your stakes out, I haven't had a coyote yet. Maybe, you know, I'm waiting for the day, but I haven't had a coyote yet pull out a stake like that. Half inch rebar, 18 inches long. It's a pretty strong animal, but, you know, that could be done. I've had some pretty good luck this year keeping coyotes. Like I said before, you want to make sure that the gas is looser in there to allow your trap to kind of get a good bed. Some wax paper. Freeze-proof dirt is not cheap unless you make it yourself, which we do. And that's a summertime project. I'm sure you guys have to do that this summer. Let's take a little stick. Just kind of clear off that area there. Kind of keep it a little bit good. Clean out next to them jaw things here. Kind of like that. So we push down like that. More. Around that jaw. It's a nice solid trap bed. Nothing wiggles. I'm gonna take some dirt around it here. Dug up. Set from the top. What I like to do sometimes is keep some of that freeze, some freezing top layer of dirt. I'll take some freeze proof dirt and just take it over the top like that. On both of them. Both of them. Okay. Now you've got your trap beds for your hay bale set. What to do now is take a little hole right here, right in the middle. Dig that down, grab your corn. I mean, about half one. Put it right down the middle. Take almost all your hay and make a nice big mound there. Right in the middle. Take the remainder of your hay, spread it out. 
right out here like that. That tracks a lot of curiosity to get the mice up in here, try to get that corn, and they'll get that mice sent up in there. Kind of trapped in the mice. As you can see, Here, here. She just looks like a hay bale. Piece of a hay bale. All that dirt, that's not a big deal. It's in a cow pasture anyway. I'll probably get rid of it. The location we're looking at here is the open pasture over here to the left. See the cows would be running down there. Coming out of this big heavy timber. Right through there, that part of the pit. To come down here. That's very low, but good for it. Down there, that CRP grass. Don't see this. This here, come check it out. We'll have a cow here tomorrow.